at four, we are following a couple of developing stories today as Madison will be home to a fleet of F-35 fighter jets. But first, in the last two hours, Governor Evers has signed the state's coronavirus relief bill into law. Amy Reid joins us live from the Capitol to explain how this moved through the legislature so quickly. The governor signed it just hours after the bill passed the Senate unanimously. They met earlier this afternoon in a virtual session and in person to debate and pass it. Yesterday, only two representatives in the assembly voted no when they passed it. Democrats and Republicans had been working on this for weeks. Overall, legislators have acknowledged this bill needed to pass today, but more action in the future might be necessary. This bill is imperfect. And it might be the first bill of a number that we are going to have to pass in the legislature. Um, but it is timely, and I think it's been well thought out, and I think it will help. But know that health care workers, know that child care workers, manufacturing, construction, tourism, those industries of small business still need our help. Trousky. Like yesterday, Democrats tried to bring in amendments that would change voter ID rules and absentee voting during a public health emergency. Those suggestions were ultimately put aside and not included in the legislation. Democrats will likely push for action on voting laws again, along with other aid. In his statement saying that he intended to sign the bill, the governor said that more needs to be done. He encouraged more work on supporting workers and small businesses. Amy Reed reporting live for us from the state capitol. Amy, thank you. This afternoon, the Wisconsin Department of Health says 183 people have died in the state from COVID-19. Most of the deaths are in Milwaukee County. The state is closing in on 3,800 cases. Health officials are still hopeful that the curve is flattening and that the safer at home order is working. We're waiting for an afternoon update from Dane County, but the number of cases being released by Public Health Madison and Dane County continues to slow. There are 351 cases in the county up only three cases from yesterday. And this graph from Milwaukee County shows that the number of daily reported cases is falling there as well. However, the county continues to see roughly 50 to 60 new cases each day. More than 26,000 Americans have now died from coronavirus. More than 2,300 people died yesterday. The numbers in New York are continuing to stabilize with daily deaths in the 700 range. But the state now has more reported cases of COVID than any other nation in the world. New York's governor says hospitalizations and intubations are down, but there are still about 2,000 new cases a day. We're still in the woods. The good news is we showed that we can change the curve. In New Jersey, which has more than 71,000 cases, the nation's first saliva-based testing site opened up Wednesday. Testing is also ramped up in Florida at the Hard Rock Stadium, the site of the Super Bowl. Health officials can now do 750 tests a day. That's up from about 100. There are now more than 43,000 patients in the U.S. who have recovered from COVID-19, according to the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center. The World Health Organization and others are pushing back against President Trump's decision to stop funding to the agency in the middle of a pandemic. The battle comes as the federal government continues to weigh how and when to begin reopening the country. Skylar Henry reports from the White House. Members of the Trump administration continue to cast blame on the World Health Organization for the coronavirus outbreak, claiming the WHO didn't give the U.S. enough warning. They knew for a while and they dragged their feet it looks like, and we just want to know what they knew and, and was the truth there. Just yesterday, the president announced he's freezing funding to the international body as his administration reviews its response to the pandemic. There will be lessons for all of us to learn. But for now, our focus, my focus, is on stopping this virus. In a statement Wednesday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called President Trump's action dangerous and illegal, adding the decision would be swiftly challenged. President Trump says he's planning to issue revised social distancing guidelines soon to help restart the stalled economy. It's going to be very, very close, maybe even before the date of May 1st. 
The Washington Post obtained a draft proposal of CDC and FEMA guidance for state and local governments. The agencies are recommending that first, there's confidence that infection rates are genuinely low, and the health system has the capacity to handle a new surge of cases, and there needs to be a well-functioning system to test and trace patients. They're diagnosed and then they're, they're isolated and then their contacts are traced. That's going to be fundamental. This uh, outbreak got beyond containment this time. We need to get it back so the containment's an important part of our overall strategy. Some Americans have started seeing government relief checks from last month's $2.2 trillion stimulus package. The one-time payments are designed to be a lifeline for tens of millions feeling the financial strain of the virus. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And today, the Treasury Department and IRS launched a free app called Get My Payment. It's supposed to allow taxpayers who don't have banking information on file with the IRS to provide direct deposit information and to track the status of their payment. Another chilly day in southern Wisconsin, but warmer days seem to be ahead. Chris Reese is in the backyard patio with more. Hi, Chris. Hello, Charlotte. That is indeed the case. Temperatures today only made it into the upper 30s, but folks, the extended forecast is certainly one that is nice. Plenty of sunshine out there. We've had the clouds at times. Things have certainly been breezy. I've also been tracking some of those snow showers, mainly north and east of Madison, as we've gone through the afternoon. And now a lot of those are getting ready to fall by the wayside as we push along into the evening. That's some good news. We will watch southwestern parts of the area. There was a little system uh, sneaks by throughout parts of Iowa and northern Illinois. But I want to show you temperatures across the upper Midwest, at least the change in temperature over the past 24 hours. When you look back across Minnesota and the Dakotas, temperatures are warmer than they were. 24 hours ago and one of the things I always say around here is whatever you see back towards the north and west today is a sign of what's typically coming our direction as we move into tomorrow. So not only are warmer days ahead, but folks, we could see some chances of thunderstorms at points in that forecast, which brings me to this point. It is severe weather awareness week coming up closer to 430. I'll be talking about some of the ways that you can prepare for severe weather awareness as we move closer to the summer season. Charlotte. Chris, thank you. A decision has been made. F-35 fighter jets will be housed in Madison. The 115th fighter wing will receive the fleet replacing the current F-16 jets. The announcement from the U.S. Air Force comes after a three-year long process. Madeline O'Neill is live near Truax Field with what we can expect. Maddie? Well, landing this mission is, of course, being met with excitement from the 115th wing and promote proponents, but it's not without plenty of pushback. Many local residents have protested, worried about increased noise and possible environmental impacts. A public comment period in the draft environment, or excuse me, a public comment period on a draft environmental impact statement issued by the U.S. Air Force ended in November. That EIS showed the jets could have a significant impact on noise on the city's north side largely affecting low-income and minority families. But proponents say that impact statement outlined worst-case scenarios. And the 115th wing says today that the actual noise impact will be minimal and they'll work on mitigation efforts with the community. The fighter wing has existed here for 71 years and with a great symbiotic relationship here with the community. And we really look forward to continuing that with this opportunity that's been given. Really, that gives us the next uh, 50 years uh, to continue that relationship. The 115th wing representatives say it's unlikely the decision would be reversed at this point. And right now, the aircraft should arrive in three years, around April of 2023. The group Safe Skies Clean Water Wisconsin has been a major opponent of these jets. They say, of course, they're disappointed today, but they say the fight isn't over. We'll have more on that coming up at 5 and 6. Maddie, thank you. Republican Senator Ron Johnson praised the Air Force's decision, saying, quote, the new fighters will help maintain U.S. air superiority and keep our state and country safe and secure. Democratic State Representative Chris Taylor has actively opposed to bringing F-35s to the city. In a statement today, Representative Taylor wrote, instead of listening to our community, the Air Force is intent on foisting these jets on a place they are not wanted. Senator Elizabeth Warren today became the latest latest prominent Democrat to endorse Joe Biden. The announcement came in a video posted online. 
We can't afford to let Donald Trump continue to endanger the lives and livelihoods of every American. And that's why I'm proud to endorse Joe Biden as President of the United States. Warren suspended her own White House campaign in early March after failing to win any of the early primary contests and finishing third in her own home state. The Massachusetts senator waited more than a month to throw her support behind Biden. And he's shown throughout this campaign that when you come up with new facts or a good argument, he's not too afraid or too proud to be persuaded. Warren's backing comes a day after former President Barack Obama endorsed his former number two. Earlier this week, Biden picked up the support of Senator Bernie Sanders, who had been his chief rival for the nomination. Earlier today, Wisconsin Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin also endorsed Biden. Madison's Jefferson Middle School has a new principal. A letter sent to families from interim MMSD Superintendent Jane Belmore says Dr. Susan Amplenalp will move from her current position as principal at Herbert Shank Elementary. Dr. Tequila Kurth resigned as the school's principal in February after taking an extended leave. We're learning more about a death investigation in Beloit this afternoon. The Beloit Police Department responded to the 1600 block of Royce Avenue around 6.30 last night where they found a man's body. Body. The police department posted on Facebook that investigators determined it did not happen in the city of Beloit. Beloit police and the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office in Illinois are now conducting a joint investigation into the death. A Green Bay Packers football legend has died at the age of 85. The team confirmed this afternoon that Willie Davis died. Davis was a pro football Hall of Fame defensive lineman and helped the Packers win each of the first two Super Bowls. He was voted to the NFL's all-decade team for the 1960s. Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy released a statement this afternoon calling Davis a, quote, role model for our players. He was one of the greats. Well, still to come at four, it's the end of an era at the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. Its longtime director is retiring at the end of the month. We'll have a conversation with Stephen Fleischman when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. Wells Asphalt Paving, expert paving for over 40 years. Now offering $250 off your asphalt paving project. For residential and commercial, from new construction to replacements, call today and save at Wells Asphalt Paving. Has your home's roof seen better days? Does it have some storm damage? If it's time for a replacement, don't settle for less than the best roof and the best deal. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by only 3% of the contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance that you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor, and we take very good care of our customers. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy. Uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and save. Get free installation labor, free financing for a year, and get a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. To our pick and save associates, for the long hours and late nights, for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked, for making a difference in our customers' lives, for doing so much more than your job. Everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you. In a time when daily life feels a bit uncertain, your hard work is keeping America fed. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities during these times of uncertainty. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. As a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get. At Liberty Butcher Mode. Cut. Liberty Bibbity. Cut. We'll dub it. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We've got the power. The power centers of Madison. Our customer-focused sales team will help you find the right power equipment to fit your needs. Lawn and garden, tractors, zero turns, lawn mowers, trimmers, chainsaws, commercial equipment, and more. 
we carry the name brands that you know and some that you need to know. As an added incentive, you can always find factory promotions at the Power Centers of Madison. Wells Asphalt Paving, expert paving for over 40 years. Now offering $250 off your asphalt paving project for residential and commercial, from new construction to replacements. Call today and save at Wells Asphalt Paving. With non-essential businesses across the nation shut down, stores are seeing a massive drop in sales. Yeah, the coronavirus shutdowns may have brought many businesses to a halt. The Commerce Department says retail sales fell a record 8.7% in March. Restaurants and bars were hit especially hard, with revenue plummeting more than 26%. Auto dealerships saw a similar drop, with people stuck at home online buying jumped 3%. And supermarkets also saw a boost in business, but clothing stores are closed and sales plummeted more than 50 percent. The nationwide shutdowns come as many brick and mortar stores were already struggling. We certainly worry about the future of the retail landscape for, for many reasons. Last year, a record 9,300 retail stores shut down, and that was during a good economy. With coronavirus, it's expected to be much worse this year. And that news sent stocks lower on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials fell 445 points, closing at 23,504. The Nasdaq gave up 122. The S&P 500 was off 62. For nearly 30 years, Stephen Fleischman has been the director of the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. He's now decided it's time for him to retire. I caught up with him earlier today to talk about his career and what's next for him and the museum. A lot of people use the word surreal, and as a museum person, I definitely have the right to use the word surreal. You've been here almost 30 years now. How have things changed? Uh, they've changed in every possible fashion. Uh, we, of course, in terms of a facility, used to be located in the old Madison Art Center, which was part of the Civic Center. And the galleries, while very accessible, were extremely convoluted and difficult to navigate. The collection was certainly far smaller. The exhibition program and education programs reached far fewer people and were less ambitious. Um, really, the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art has had the pleasure of growing up with its community. 30 years, that's unusual tenure for somebody running an arts organization, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of an anomaly. Um, but Barbara, my wife, and I uh, really fell in love with this community. We went to graduate school here. I've lived here on three different occasions. And you vote with your feet. And the people in this community have been so welcoming in every way that it's been a pleasure to serve in this capacity. I never intended to leave, and I never did. <laughs> it happens to a lot of people when it comes to Madison. What, what is your personal accomplishment, your greatest accomplishment, do you think? I think there are a number of them. And really, as they say, I've stood on the shoulders of giants. And it's been my pleasure and privilege to do that. Uh, I've taken great enjoyment from the staff and board that I've worked with particular enjoyment in seeing the staff go on to do great things either here in Madison during their long tenures or in other capacities at other organizations around the world. The building, of course, how often do you get to be involved in the construction of a new mission-driven facility and to see that take shape and to see it used so frequently by people both within the city and outside of the city is an amazing thing uh, and to watch the growth of the collection and and a, a renewed emphasis on programming instead of uh, the behind the scenes things that uh, really don't matter to public viewers um, really being able to emphasize the museum's success uh, and be a cheerleader has been a privilege for me.
What's in the future? What's what exhibit is coming up once you finally reopen? Oh, there are a number of shows coming up once we reopen. We had two that opened just before the closure took place. So we've scrambled around and we've extended those shows so the Madison community will have an opportunity to see a James Cagle exhibition, an amazing photographer, and the, the collection of Mark and Judy Bednar, who are from Chicago, but their collection is coming to the museum and will form an important part of our Chicago Images collection uh, in perpetuity. So those are exciting things. I'm organizing a sort of swan song exhibition called Full Circle. It won't open till next October, but it's about some of the key acquisitions and exhibitions that have taken place over the last 30 years. And of course, we're very excited to be in the late stages of looking for a new director for the museum. That's something I'm not personally involved with, but uh, to me, I'm very excited to see a new set of eyes and new sensibilities coming into the museum. It's what contemporary art should be. Your last day is May 1st. It is. It'll be, <laughs> it's it'll, it, it'll be a strange day for it's, me, for sure. Yeah, it, it's been a pleasure and honor to know you all of these 30 years. I remember when you first started. So best of luck in retirement, and hopefully we'll get through this situation very soon. Well, Mark, I, I must have known you when you first started, too, then. <laughs> all right. Stephen, best of luck to you. Thanks so much. It's one of the good ones. Well, still to come at four from kindergarten to college, students are taking classes online. How's that going? Apparently not very well. That story's coming up after Chris's first warned forecast. You were always the responsible one. So much like me. Always taking care of everyone else. But this, this wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. They say life is all about making choices. Well, I didn't choose metastatic breast cancer. You're back with number one best-selling author. Not the exact type. Her book, The Ken in Cancer. Not the specific mutation. But I did pick hope. And also clarity. By knowing I have a treatment that goes right at it. Discover PICRAE, the first and only treatment that specifically targets PIC3CA mutations in HR positive, HER2 negative, and BC, which are common and linked to cancer growth. PICRAE is taken with full vestrant after progression on hormone therapy and has been proven to help people with a PIC3CA mutation live longer without disease progression. Do not take PICRAE if you've had a severe allergic reaction to it or to any of its ingredients. PICRAE can cause serious side effects, including severe allergic and skin reactions, high blood sugar levels and diarrhea that are common and can be severe, and long lung problems known as pneumonitis. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms of severe allergic reactions or high blood sugar while taking PICRAE. Your doctor will monitor your blood sugar before you start and during treatment and may monitor more often if you have a history of type 2 diabetes. Before starting, tell your doctor if you have a history of diabetes, skin reactions, or pregnant, breastfeeding, or plan to become pregnant. Common side effects include rash, nausea, tiredness and weakness, decreased appetite, mouth sores, vomiting, weight loss, hair loss, and changes in certain blood tests. If you've progressed on hormone therapy, and have a PIC3CA mutation, ask your doctor about PICRAE. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Are you nervous about leaving your parents' phone plan? You got this, dude. <laughs> you could have... It's just a plan. No. Nope. Individual plan phobia. Plan phobia? Mm-hmm. We got your back. 
Switch to your own plan at U.S. Cellular and get $400 back. Plan Phobia? Mm -hmm. They got your back. Switch and get $400 back. Only at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Take a look at this. A huge glacier collapse was captured in stunning slow motion in Alaska. Susan Haddock says she and a friend took a walk near the famous Portage Glacier in Anchorage. She happened to have her camera out when they started hearing loud cracking. That's when the glacier began caving, dropping large chunks of ice. Luckily, no one was injured in the incident, which was surreal and I guess pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow. All right, well, Chris, with this cool weather, it's hard to think it's about severe weather at all. Yeah, that's right, Mark, but nonetheless, it's Severe Weather Awareness Week here in Wisconsin. So that full forecast is coming up right after this, but I'll talk about some of the ways you can be prepared for severe weather season in just a few minutes. Now, a WISC-TV editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. There are welcome glimmers of hope as we battle through this pandemic, but hope will need to be tempered by the extraordinary challenges ahead. So many people are struggling, and we can't relax our efforts to help our fellow community members in need. As many of you know, WISC-TV, Channel3000.com, and Madison Magazine are partnering with Kesnick's Kitchen Supply Company and the Northside Planning Council to support restaurant workers. Money raised during the Save Our Staff campaign will be dispersed to servers, bartenders, and back-of-the-house staff who normally depend on tips for the majority of their income and are not eligible for unemployment. The goal is $78,000, but we'd like to get to $30,000 by the end of the week, and we're close. If you can help take care of people who usually take care of us, you can find the SOS Fund at GoFundMe or on Channel3000.com. We're optimistic there's more good news to come as we respond to our shared concerns. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. You love your business. Every day, you coddle it, pamper it. Maybe the growing pains were hard, but you put everything into it, nurtured it, and fed it so it would grow. It's only natural that you'd want to protect it with the right insurance. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend and wrap it in the cozy warmth of the silver lining. Five years ago, I had psoriasis everywhere. My skin hurt, I felt gross. But then I started Cosentix, and I haven't really had to think about it. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentix. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. Ask your dermatologist about Cosentix. Hi, this is John Walsh. How do you get help if you can't leave your house and your family can't be with you? With a Jitterbug cell phone, one touch connects you to highly trained five-star agents. They'll send you the help you need or get a doctor or nurse on the line. Call as often as you like, day or night. And with the Link app, family members will get an alert right on their smartphones that you've contacted Five Star. Now more affordable with 25% off at Best Buy, Amazon, or GreatCall.com. Also at Rite Aid. Sir Jennians is proud our roots have grown along with you in this community. We have floored thousands of area homes, businesses, and iconic Madison buildings since we first opened our doors in 1930. Sir Jennians' landfill-free guarantee has kept millions of pounds of used flooring out of landfills, ensuring our Madison roots can grow stronger for generations to come. Local. Sustainable. Sir Jennians. Todd Drive at the Beltline. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor.
Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Decide today how you are going to respond tomorrow. Those are one of the, or some of the important words uh, to be said when it comes to severe weather awareness. And I want to give a few moments to helping you guys prepare for what that could look like for you when you are at home. One of the things that everyone should do is always have a severe weather kit. This means batteries, a flashlight, your weather radio, all of those things, your first aid kit, along with your medicines. Have them ready to go. Determine a safe place for you and your family whether that's at work or at home and always just secure those outdoor objects that you have on your patios those become flying objects very quickly when it is windy now here's how the risks occur as we go through time right now it's april most of the severe weather happens across dixie alley we saw that just this past weekend but it begins to move northward as we go through time throughout the month of may it's the plains from the panhandle of texas through oklahoma all the way to southwestern iowa in june typically june and july that's where we're most likely to see severe weather here throughout parts of Wisconsin and much of the upper Midwest. Now, of course, there's no severe weather out there right now. Today itself has been very much a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, the clouds out there as well, but you see the blue skies through the cloud cover. Some of us have seen flurries, but a lot of us have been dry. This is thanks to high pressure that's in control. A weak disturbance moved by, moved by and towards the south and east earlier on this morning. That brought snows to parts of Chicago. We're now seeing some of the flurries on the backside of that, but the truth is a lot of those are even beginning to fall away at this point. So most of them have been north and east of Madison, places like Watertown, Juneau, Beaver Dam. This is where we've seen that greatest concentration of flurries. We've got one up towards New Glarus and Belleville right now. So some of you may be seeing a flake or two, but this all begins to turn off as we continue to go through tonight. Watch how temperatures cool down to 24 degrees. Tomorrow will warm up towards 46. Notice the clouds starting to sneak in as we move into the afternoon. This is a weak disturbance that will slide by just to our south as we move into tomorrow. But then as we move into Friday, we'll begin to see more in the way of some sunshine there. Get this temperatures though. We're going to rebound 59 by the time we get to Saturday. It's possible to see a little shower at night 57 on Sunday. Monday is great close to 60. We get into the 60s by Tuesday. Wednesday looks great as well, but we're going to watch Wednesday night into Thursday. That's when we'll see that next chance for rain along with showers and thunderstorms along with next Saturday as well. All right. Improving, I guess is the word. That is exactly the case, Mark. All right, thank you, Chris. As tens of millions of students move to online learning for the remainder of the year, many are struggling to keep up and some are not even logging on at all. As schools report a drastic decline in attendance, experts warn students are rapidly falling behind. Meg Oliver reports. I'm having a tough time adapting. Senior Asia Bryant thought this spring would be one of celebration, wrapping up her high school softball career and graduating. Your high school graduation has been canceled. How do you feel about that? Honestly, truly am sad about it. That was the landmark for me. That was going to be like the push. It was going to be like a big uh, exhale for me. There has been no exhale for Bryant. Since her Los Angeles high school moved to online learning, she's worried about falling behind. Do you have a spotty internet connection? Yes. Brian said her internet often freezes in the middle of lessons. We witnessed her spotty connection firsthand. Did you freeze? Oh, I think you froze. Darn it. Hang on. Brian says she's still logging on and doing her work, but that's not the case for all students in the Los Angeles Unified School District. The district says for the first two weeks of online learning, 15,000 high school students did not log on at all. That has since been cut by about two thirds. Many districts scrambled to get students devices like laptops and Wi-Fi after schools closed, but there's a lot of catching up to do. Nearly 12 million children do not live in homes with an internet broadband connection. Class, how you feel? Ready to retail. Woo! 
Dallas teacher Andrea Bazemore works at a school with a lot of students from low-income households. I had a student who was doing her reading lesson, and we were on such a great momentum. Um, but we had to stop about 10, 20 minutes in because uh, her data had run out. Um, and her mom said, hey, I got to stop. Um, I need to go somewhere with Wi-Fi because I didn't have Wi-Fi in the house. Are you concerned that they're going to be left behind? Oh, I'm absolutely concerned. We talk about summer slide. Right. How, um, students decline over their reading and math skills over the summer. We're going to have a corona slide. And it's going to be very, very significant. Education expert Dr. Karen Aronian agrees. She said data is already pointing to a very steep decline. This is a crisis right now. We know uh, we're looking at, with reading, a 30% drop off. And in math, 50%. The Los Angeles Unified School District says they won't fail any students during this period. Back here in New Jersey, some school districts have suspended spring break and are requiring students to continue online learning. As you can see behind me, that is not the case in our district where we are trying to build a treehouse. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Montclair, New Jersey. And coming up next on Live at Four, will antibody tests really help life go back to normal? An expert explains. And tonight at five, continuing coverage as F-35s in Madison becomes an official reality. Hear what neighbors have to say tonight at five. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Has your home's roof seen better days? Does it have some storm damage? If it's time for a replacement, don't settle for less than the best roof and the best deal. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by only 3% of the contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance that you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor, and we take very good care of our customers. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy, uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and save. Get free installation labor, free financing for a year, and get a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. Hi, I'm Travis Ganser. We hear you. You need new windows. Ganser Company is proud to introduce 80 years and 80 minutes. Simply put, you need real information and pricing. Our 80 years of hindsight for 80 minutes of your time. We give you the skinny in 80 minutes to make an educated decision. Infinity Windows from Marvin offer a lifetime warranty and are made just for that. A lifetime. Infinity Windows don't warp, crack, or fade over time like vinyl windows. Remember, 80 years and 80 minutes from a local family business of four generations. Ta-da! Did you know Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need? Given my unique lifestyle, that'd be perfect. Let me grab a pen and some paper. Know what? I'm gonna switch now. Just need my desk, my chair, and my phone. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Tonight at 5, we're live from the state capitol as the Wisconsin Senate approves a coronavirus relief bill today. We'll have the latest on that measure tonight at 5. Temperatures should start to rebound over the next few days. Weather system passing to our south may bring some clouds, but mild weather will return this weekend. My forecast at 5. And ahead at 6, the UW School of Engineering is working with UW Health to make sure protective equipment from the national stockpile is compatible with technology in local hospitals. We'll explain at 6. While Americans hope... First, it's a live look at downtown Madison. Uh, it looks nice outside, but it's kind of chilly out. Charlotte, your turn. Sorry about that. I'm just so anxious from the bunker to start talking. 
Okay, so while Americans hope the country will reopen, leaders are calling for widespread antibody tests to fight the coronavirus. The blood test may be able to find out if someone who had coronavirus is now immune. This can help determine who can safely resume a normal life. But questions remain over whether the test can accurately determine immunity and how long that immunity lasts. Medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula shows us how this test works. If we were able to quickly test people's antibodies and show that with the antibody keeps the virus away, we can start getting people back to work. Dr. Matthew Sims is the Director of Infectious Disease Research at Beaumont Health in Michigan. He's leading a study to test blood samples from more than 40,000 healthcare workers. Through a few drops of blood, the test can determine if someone has built up antibodies to fight off the virus, which could be a sign of immunity to prevent reinfection. But it remains unclear how long that immunity will last. Dr. Mike Ryan is the executive director of the World Health Organization's emergency programs. Uh, one would expect that a person who is generates a full-blown immune response with det detectable antibodies should have protection uh, for a period of time. We just don't know what that period of time is. Beaumont Hospital nurse Zena Kassab is getting tested even though she hasn't had any symptoms. She says wide-scale testing is important to understand the scope of this pandemic. I have young children. I have people in my life that are over the age of 65 with comorbidities as well. And I want to know that if I've been exposed, what I can do to continue to protect my family um, and to continue to serve our community. Testing like this is being done across the country, but with little federal oversight, accuracy is a concern. The FDA has only officially approved one test. How accurate is the test that you have now? You know, we believe it's in the high 90s. Um, you know, no test is perfect. You're always going to have some false negatives. You're always going to have some false positives. Do you think that antibody tests can give a false sense of security? Anything can give a false sense of security. We still would recommend taking reasonable precautions, even if you have immunity. The work goes on. Well, it's time to call in and get your plant and garden questions answered. Lisa Briggs from the Roost Company is taking your calls at 270-9933. We'll get to your questions right after the break. Can a healthier heart lead you? For people with heart failure taking Entresto, it may lead to a world of possibilities. Entresto is a heart failure medicine prescribed by most cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Heart failure can change the structure of your heart, so it may not work as well. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. And with a healthier heart, there's no telling where life may take you. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alaskira, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or R. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Novartis thanks the heroic healthcare workers fighting COVID-19. To our pick and save associates, for the long hours and late nights, for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked, for making a difference in our customers' lives, for doing so much more than your job. Everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you. In a time when daily life feels a bit uncertain, your hard work is keeping America fed. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Help is what we've always given. So thank you to our helpers at BMO and beyond. Thank you to the healers, the fighters, the all-nighters, the cleaners, the movers, the 18-wheelers. Thank you to the farmers, the grocers, the above and beyonders. Thank you to all the frontliners for keeping our lives moving when the world needs to stop. For many of our members, being prepared won't be a new thing. 
and it won't be their first experience with social distancing. Overcoming challenges is what defines the military community. USAA has been standing with them for nearly 100 years, and we'll be here to serve you for 100 more. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. It's one of Belgium's most anticipated shows of nature, the seasonal blooming of the bluebells. It's an attraction that usually draws tourists from across the globe, but this year, because of the virus lockdown, only locals are able to enjoy the forest's magical blue flower carpet. The Hellerbos Forest is located some 15 miles south of Brussels, and the floral floor eventually grows and stretches in wide patches for a great part of the forest, 1,400 acres, with no humans in sight we're going to be right back wells asphalt paving expert paving for over 40 years now offering 250 dollars off your asphalt paving project for residential and commercial from new construction to replacements call today and save at wells asphalt paving Imagine facing Wisconsin's bitter cold winter without a warm home, or the blistering heat of summer without power. Then having to make the tough choice between eating or meeting other basic survival needs. Unfortunately, over 200,000 of our neighbors in need will face this difficult decision with no place else to turn, including those who are now unemployed due to the COVID-19 crisis. For a hand up and help with your utility bills now during these difficult times, contact the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund today. I just love hitting the open road and telling people that Liberty Mutual customizes your insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We are a community that cares and shares. Always have been. We've been there for each other. And now we need each other more than ever. Our editorials are but one reflection of that commitment to be here for you when you need us. With news, information, service, and perspective you can trust. Because we share your concerns. And we can and we will help. It's what we do. Wells Asphalt Paving. Expert paving for over 40 years. Now offering $250 off your asphalt paving project for residential and commercial. From new construction to replacements, call today and save at Wells Asphalt Paving. Tonight at 5, Governor Ebers has signed the coronavirus relief bill that the state Senate passed today. We'll have the latest from the Capitol. Plus, the Air Force has chosen Truex Field to house the F-35, with those who are for and against it are saying that's at 5. For the latest coronavirus reports and breaking news, watch News 3 now and go to Channel 3000 to sign up for our daily email newsletter. Get the facts and tips to keep your family safe. News 3 now, your local coronavirus headquarters. It's time now to get your plant questions answered. 270-9933. Lisa Briggs standing by from her home on the west side. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you guys? We're good. Let's get to the phones. We'll start with Greg from Madison. Hi, Greg. What's your question? I bought a rhubarb plant last year and planted it. Now, this year it's coming up real nice, but right in the middle of it, there's like a big, looks like cauliflower stalk growing out of the middle of it. Am I yeah. supposed to cut that or just let that grow? That's or? That's what rhubarb does. It sort of forms the leaves around a flower that does look a little bit like cauliflower when it's first coming out. You want to, as those flowers sort of expand, you want to keep removing them because once you let it go to flower, it really affects the taste of the stalks, which is what you really want. So just keep removing them as they come out. Okay. We're having a little trouble with your signal. We can hear you. We just can't see you. So we're going to look at these lovely daffodils. Will, oh, from okay. Will from Lancaster is on the line. What's your question, Will? 
Yes, my question is, uh, is vinegar can use, be used for uh, weed killer? Someone told me that they used it before, and is it going to affect my plant that I put in afterwards? Okay, so vinegar is one of those things like hot pepper oil and a whole host of other sort of weed killers. And what it will do is the acid in it will usually kill the top growth but not the root. So a lot of people like to use those as organic methods for killing weeds, but it's really a short-term thing. Unfortunately, there is no... Um, organic true weed killer that will kill a perennial weed all the way down to the roots. All right, good to know. Let's go it to... not hurt anything long term, but it's not very helpful. All right. Let's go to Sandy. Hi, Sandy. What's your question? Um, I've got a mum plant that I was given last fall, and I planted it. It was doing good, but now I don't know how much I should cut back, if any, or what, to make it go again. Well, a mom, is, a mom is a perennial plant that's going to die back to the ground. So you're going to want to cut back all of that dead material and then wait for it to come back. I will say, though, that mums in the fall that you buy are pinched within an inch of their lives, and there's a lot of fertilizer. So if that plant does come back, it's not going to look like what you bought last fall, but it will be a nice perennial with some flowers. All right, sounds good. Let's go to Warren. What's your question? Warren from Evansville. Uh, hello. Um, I have a couple of yucca plants, and I was wondering um, how you make them bloom or how do you make them just grow better? Um, is it kind of hard to, for them to grow here in Wisconsin, or I'm just wondering about that. Okay. Okay. Well, yuccas are hardy here in Wisconsin, but they do like sort of a bit of a specialized site. So lots of sun, like sun all day, and really, really exceptional drainage. If there's any kind of damp or wet spots, they will kind of languish and not do very well. To get them, if the plant itself is doing well, you're seeing lots of green growth, just no flowers, then you want more sun. You could apply a bloom booster if it's in full sun and see if that will help. Okay, let's go to Ken in Blanchardville. Hi, Ken. Hi there. Hi, which question? I was wondering if you could spray gas, grass killer on an asparagus bed before the plant sprout comes to, through the ground. Okay, so if you've got nothing showing from the plant and you're using a grass killer that's a selective grass killer, and those are out there, so they'll kill grass, but nothing that's broad-leafed. So if you do that, then yes, it will kill the grass without harming the asparagus. But you want to make sure that the, that the herbicide that you're using is grass-selective and not any other kind of broad-leaf uh, weed killer like uh, weed beater or, um, or Roundup or anything like that. All right, let's go to George in Madison. Hi, George. Hi, I have some mums that are overwintered very nicely and I'm just a little concerned about the cold temperatures that we're having right now. Do they need to be covered or they're going to be okay? Um, they're probably going to be fine. Uh, if you've got perennials that are coming up and you're and they're exposed and you're worried about the next couple of really nippy nights, you can always throw like a sheet over them, something lightweight, a floating row cover if you've got it, a sheet or some lightweight fabric if you don't have a row cover. At my house, I just take old nursery pots that are empty from like shrubs or whatever and I just pop them up upside down over the top of my plants and that does pretty well to keep the frost off because that's what you want to do all right we're out of time thanks to everyone for calling in it was nice to see you briefly lisa we'll talk to you soon here is chris with one final check of the forecast all right we're going to continue to see a mix of the sun and the clouds as we go through the rest of this afternoon but then we see more sunshine into tomorrow. We'll see clouds increasing in the afternoon. Highs top out around 46. We're back into the 50s by the weekend with more sunshine. For next Monday, we're at the upper 50s, low 60s by Tuesday. 
We'll watch a chance for some showers and thunderstorms arriving by the time we get you into Wednesday. But next Friday, 65 and sunshine. Looking better, that's for sure. All right, Chris, thank you. Tomorrow on Live at 4, the coronavirus pandemic continues, and people have a lot of questions. Dr. Zorba Pastor will be in to answer all of your pandemic questions live. Get ready to call in, and we'll be right back.